there was other options obviously in north america i mean within asia as well we've heard rumors of course that bentet was considered for that roster as well so can you shine some light on that yeah we we tried to get bentet in 2017 february memory yeah yeah for like just before kind of it's a um and he was available for a while and then he wasn't and the um the amount kind of kept going up and the, the terms sort of changed over and over again um and also it was a catch-22 he didn't want to leave Tyloo and maybe not get a us visa and renegades were kind of the same we didn't want to get him and then he may not get the us visa he was kind of trapped in in no man's land and i think as the negotiations went on with tyler organization um they eventually offered him a better contract or uh matched our offer i guess i don't i don't really know the specifics but they basically put an offer on for him at the same time as us and he just just decided to play it safe as far as i know um he doesn't you know, get upset he's moved on we've moved on so i guess it's not a big deal anymore um, I think we're both pretty happy with where we ended up. But um, yeah, there was a time where we were definitely interested. And then we got Jacob as a stand-in because Ben Tet was eventually his contract would run out in mid-year. Like we wouldn't have to, wouldn't have these obstacles of, um, you know, buyouts and terms and conditions, things like that. And he was free to sign with us for free. That would have given us a window to try and get a visa. You know, he could have been working on that, you know, in this three-month window that we had. Um, and then we got Jacob and we played that Kedavitsa with him. That was our first or second event with him. It was super early on in the piece. And he just he just fit in really well. And he just decided like let's just put it on hold. Um and Bentet decided to stay with Tyloo and re-signed and we just kept Jacob. So basically um, it would have been Bentet instead of Jacob. Yep. Yep. Um pretty early, yeah, twenty seventeen. Early twenty seventeen. See, I think for um, me, like Obviously, being a bit of an Asian fanboy, that, that almost mm. would have been my wet dream, you know, to see Bentet <laughs> joining a team like 100 Thieves. I, I've always sort of theorized about a, a team which combines the firepower of the Asian region and, you know, the brains and the smarts of the ANZ region, right? That just seems like the perfect amalgamation. Is there anyone else, like, you know, you're laughing at me, but did anyone else ever think, like, that'd be fucking sick? Um, it would have been. Yeah, yeah, it would I be interesting that. for sure. I don't know if uh, wet dreams the word I would use uh, particularly. Um, Lucid dream, have... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's definitely interesting, but uh, I don't know. I think it it's it gives you a little bit more pride in the region to have an entirely uh, you know entirely regionalized roster. You know, have Asia and and AZ. That would be the cool sort of factor around it. But uh, I think, you know, watch uh, from someone who's casted a fair bit of Pro League and stuff like that, casted a fair few, like, Renegades, 100 Thieves game games, there was times where on the desk I was saying, like, the best player in Renegades isn't even Aussie. So, I mean, it, it's yeah. not a surprise that, it, that he was kept. Yeah, I mean, he just fit in so well. And, I mean, it, yeah, we just, just had to roll with it. It, was, it wasn't going real good with Tyler at the time. And... Um, yeah, everyone understand, everyone understood, and we just went with it. Um, we still keep in contact a lot with, with Ventet over the years and the tournaments, like we're still on really good terms and, you know, I, I don't, I see, you know, possibility down the line, like we would definitely inquire about trying to get him again. Like our opinion of him hasn't changed at all. Um, we still think he's really good. We still think he'd fit in pretty well. Um, came available and we, for whatever reason, to make a change, then, then sure, we'd probably consider him again. Oh.